Now that we understand relative humidity, let's try to figure out what the dew point is. You may have experienced when you go out in the evening and you touch things and everything is wet, everything is full of water. We always say, oh, the dew set in. So what's happening there is water or water vapor is uh, precipitating out of, the, um, out of the atmosphere and distributing itself all, all over the surfaces. It's literally condensing out of the air. And so what causes that to happen? Well, let's say, for example, that it's a nice afternoon. The temperature is 20 degrees centigrade, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, and the relative humidity is 80%. So the question would be, what is the dew point? So what happens then is as it gets later in the evening, the temperature begins to drop. As the temperature drops, the amount of moisture the air can hold, the amount of vapor pressure, the decreases. And so there eventually, as the temperature begins to drop to 19 and 18 degrees and so forth, the relative humidity, even though there's not any more moisture in the air, the percentage of the partial pressure to the vapor pressure, since the vapor pressure gets smaller and smaller with decreasing temperatures, the relative humidity then tends to increase and eventually reaches 100%. And then if the temperature decreases even more, then the the, the water vapor in the atmosphere will begin to precipitate out, will begin to um, condense out. So an, an example of that is, let's say that we started out at 80% humidity, right here, 80% humidity. Let's find out what the partial pressure is when the relative humidity is 80%. The vapor pressure at 20 degrees centigrade is 17.54 millimeters of mercury, so 80% of that is how much? So let's try to figure that out. So we could say that the, um, the partial pressure is equal to the vapor pressure times the relative humidity. So the maximum moisture the air can hold at 20 degrees centigrade is the vapor pressure, which is 17.54 millimeters of mercury. And then if we multiply that times the relative humidity, which we presume to be 80%, then what do we get here? All right. So we get uh, 17.54 times 0.8 equals 14, well, let's call it 14.0. So that's equal to 14.0 millimeters of mercury. All right, so let's say now 80% uh, is probably a little bit less than that. Let me bring it down a little bit more. So it's a little bit more realistic, uh, maybe right there, 80%. And so let's say now the temperature begins to decrease and it becomes 19 degrees, 18 degrees, 17 degrees. The amount of moisture in there doesn't change, but as a percentage, the partial pressure, because this here is the partial pressure, so think of that right here. So this here is the partial pressure, which is equal to 14 millimeters um, of mercury. So that doesn't change, but how much air can hold depends on the temperature. So as the temperature decreases, the air can hold less and less and less, and it becomes a larger fraction of the amount that the water can hold, of the vapor pressure. Vapor pressure drops with temperature. So notice what happens now is as the temperature decreases, you can see that this becomes a larger and larger and larger portion. Eventually, the partial pressure will be equal to the vapor pressure because this black line right here represents the vapor pressure, which is a function of temperature. It increases with increase in temperature. So when it cools down sufficiently, at that point, the partial pressure will equal the vapor pressure and that is called the dew point. And so in this case, it looks like it's about 17 degrees centigrade. So at about 17 degrees centigrade, the air is now fully saturated. The partial pressure of the moisture or the water vapor in the air is now equal to the, um, the vapor pressure. What happens now when the temperature continues to decrease even more? Now look, the partial pressure is now greater than the vapor pressure, which can never happen. You can never have more moisture in the air than the air can hold. You can never have a partial pressure that is greater than the vapor pressure. So this additional difference right here simply means that the water begins to condense and turns from water vapor into moisture. And you can see then sometimes little droplets will fall down or everything on the surface begins to get wet. And so that's simply the extra moisture in the air beginning to condense out. All right, and so as the air gets colder and colder and colder, more and more and more and more of the water vapor will come out of the air. So let's say the temperature drops all the way down to 10 degrees centigrade. So all this additional moisture here will simply condense out, and now what happens is we'll still be at 100 degrees, uh, not 100 degrees, but we'll still be at 100% uh, relative humidity in the morning, so the air will be very, very wet,
and well wet it's kind of a bad way to say it it's fully saturated that's the better way to say it the areas are fully saturated and now the temperature begins to increase but since all that moisture has now uh, condensed out and all the grass is wet and some of the water is then seeped into the ground as then the temperature begins to increase you can now see that you have a lot less moisture in the air maybe i'll use a different color here so as the temperature increases notice that the partial pressure now here will be equal to what the vapor pressure was when it was fully saturated you can see in the in the winter the air gets colder a lot more moisture will uh, precipitate out will condense out and you'll have less and less moisture in the air so therefore the air tends to feel very dry in the winter time because then you can see that the relative humidity the next day would only be about 50 percent rather than 80 percent because of this now some of the moisture will return back into the air because the wet grass and so forth as the sun comes out some of that will then of course re-evaporate and maybe the, the, the uh, evaporation will cause you to have more more moisture in the air so maybe it will not be 50 percent but not quite 80 percent like it was the day before all right hopefully that helps you understand the dew point it's simply the point where the partial pressure crosses over to the vapor pressure as the air gets colder and the air can no longer hold all the moisture in the air